Chicago's Logan Square has seen its share of changes, but Joe's Barbershop on Fullerton Avenue has weathered the changes in style, holding fast to its traditional roots. And much of that tradition comes from the shop's namesake, Joe Cacavella Sr. Back in Italy, I was born in Italy, we came over here in 1955, I was nine years old, but between say five and nine, me and my older brother, which was six years older than me, and we used to stop at my dad's shop. We had a shop in the city of uh, Castelluccio Val Maggiore, the province of Foggia, which is called the Puglia area. So every day for five days in a row, you could say, for the whole summer, we, me and my older brother stopped there and helped my dad clean up the place, sharpen the razors, learn how to cut. And there was the, uh, at the time, that was right after the war, and uh, there was uh, no money, more or less. People didn't have nothing. Italy was bound out very, very bad. And uh, so my dad would let us do with people that didn't have anything. And we chop them up, you know, but he got it for free. You know, lucky if a guy had a scissor or even a razor to shave himself. And the ones that had something would bring in a bushel of corn. It was called a barter, barter era. And so for like three to four years doing that, we became a barber. At nine years old, I was already shaving and cutting hair. Uh, at the age of nine. Of course, when we came to America, you can't, you have to go to school. I graduated the one month when I turned 16 here in America. That's why I'm a barber, and I've been a barber all my life. And the shop has been here for eternity, actually, you know, 40 some years. I started in 1968 after I came out of the service, and I've been here since. Joe Sr. got his start in a time where he needed to obtain the title of Master Barber. And times have changed. Much of that history remains as he works alongside his son Joe Jr. out of a set of decades old barber chairs that have been in the family for years. All the barbers here are licensed barbers. Um, we do the best job we can. Um, we try to do as fast as we can. Um, we try to keep the cost effective and uh, affordable. Um, you know, I'll, I'll put our $15 haircut up against any haircut in the city. Anyone who works here or has worked here, part time, full time, whatever can do a haircut better than anyone in Chicago. There's definitely a resurgence in the whole old school is cool thing or traditional is cool. Mad Men, Boardwalk Empire, all that stuff. Social media has affected a lot of it. But I feel that the guy that comes to a barbershop versus a salon, his dad probably took him to a barbershop versus a salon. Um, you know, tr trends come and go, people come and go, customers come and go. but. A shop like this is established. It's been in the same neighborhood since 68. We do the same style of haircuts that my dad started doing when my dad was 21. He's 66 now. Um, you know, the fish in the wall he caught, the wood paneling he put up with his own hands. So um, things can come and go and this and that, but overall it's the same stuff. So, and there's no reason to change it. It worked then, it works now. So, you know, I live in the neighborhood. All the people who work here live in the neighborhood. We see people at bars, concerts, car shows, hot rod shows. And it's cool to be known as, introduced as your barber, so to speak. And, um, you know, it's one of the oldest professions in the world and just trying to keep it, keep it traditional. So the way I feel about this shop is, is that we're a traditional shop that's trying to keep the past going. If it looked good in the 1920s, it'll look good now. It's just all how you, you know, how you wear it, so. Although the shop maintains a strong social media presence, if you think you're paying with anything but cash, think again. But one of the most valuable things at Joe's is the conversation. My ideal barbershop experience is uh, basically just all those waiting chairs filled with guys um, telling jokes with each other, camaraderie, um, no other distractions. Um, distractions stop people from talking to each other and having that camaraderie. And. Um, It's basically the opposite of um, every single one of those waiting chairs being filled with guys looking at their smartphones. Uh, if it was up to me, there'd be a little pouch thing up there where you check your phone in when you walk in the door and actually hold a conversation with another adult. Nothing says real deal like established in 1968. Um, there really aren't very many shops if any, in Chicago, believe it or not, as big as the city is, that can say they've, it's had the same owner since 1968. Um, there are shops that have been shops, you know, since before then, but under the same owner and under the same name, the same establishment, 
now. It's like obviously a good haircut's important all the time, you know? Um, but I think really what changed my mind for Joe is anything else is the environment, you know? The environment's the best thing I've ever been in, you know? You're not gonna get that anywhere else, you know? The jokes and the whatever. Like all these dudes want to cook good hair, you know, which is important. But I think the thing that steps it up for me is coming here, drinking beer, telling jokes, and just having a good time, you know? Because, you know, if there is a wait, you know, I wouldn't mind if I had to wait two hours. I sit here for two hours even when I don't need a haircut. You know what I mean? We just have a good time. It almost takes you back in time a little bit, you know? And it's just, I think it's one of the last few places that people in the neighborhood can really come and meet each other and tell stories and, you know, get to know what's going on and, You'd be surprised when people come in here that have never had a proper haircut before. You know, they'll come in, they'll sit down, they'll get nice and tapered up, and well, they'll, you know, put pomade in their hair for the first time ever, and run a comb through their hair for the first time ever, and they turn around the chair and they're like, wow, you know, like I look good, like I look presentable, you know. Joe's been putting, you know, everything he has into every haircut and every customer, so we got to carry that on. The shop survived the disco era. You know, it survived hair metal. It survived the grunge 90s. I mean, it's survived all these horrible hair generations. And barbering definitely took a huge hit from that. A lot of shops closed down because salons are so popular for men. But, I mean, a shop like Joe's has kept going. So, something said for that. Your option is to go here and get my skin. Or go to the or walk to the other to get the Connor Forrest, Formadale.